Hi, today is Wednesday and uh, we have our 112th case and it's titled The Cognitive Bias of Inattentional Blindness. Uh, and this is an 82-year-old with fever on and off for a month, cough and expectoration and a past history of myasthenia gravis in 2020. This is how the patient presented. This was the radiograph that was presented um, and that I saw actually after the CT. And uh, have a look, see if you find anything. I'll keep it on for another five seconds. And then here's the CT running at the rate of one frame per second, so 15 seconds. We actually scroll much faster uh, when we're viewing the images. And since we have lung and soft tissue, um, I'm running this once again, but you could actually just uh, rewind the video and maybe go through the lungs separately and then go through the soft tissue windows separately and see if you find the pathology. So what we have are calcified pleural plaques, um, lung nodules, some subpleural opacities and a right pleural effusion. And the idea was to pick up the pleural plaques which are bilateral, um, seen extremely well here. And clearly, we need to find the cause. And these kind of pleural plaques can occur because of old infection, trauma, um, and then obviously uh, the classic asbestos exposure. And if you see the radiographs, you can see that as well. So one of our doctors followed up with a call and the patient said yes they had he had worked in shipbuilding many years ago for many years and was aware that he had been exposed to asbestos but had never been told that he has asbestos related disease and even today while there is a lot of um, literature out there it's funny how sometimes a really great old article can be wonderful and this is this is about 23 years old but this article is still absolutely brilliant it tells you about uh, plural diseases and asbestosis which is asbestos related uh, lung disease and if you remember um, I guess a couple months ago I did case 95 where I discussed the dots and bands of early asbestosis. So asbestosis is when we have interstitial lung disease uh, from asbestos. And uh, I did a case, um, and, I'll, and I'll show the URL later on, where I discussed uh, plural plaques. And you can see these here in two different patients, um, here and here, and they, they look a little different, but they can be calcified or non-calcified. They usually occur 20 to 30 years after exposure, usually involve the parietal pleura, but may involve the visceral pleura. And you can also get benign asbestos-related pleural effusion, and of course, you can get mesothelioma. So that patient actually ha was a case of uh, rounded atelectasis with a comet tail, had been misdiagnosed to have a mass, and then we kind of teased out everything. Um, and this is available at uh, ctchestreview.com in case you'd like to go through this. But now let's come back to our patient. So our patient has asbestos-related pleural plaques, has nodules, has the subpleural opacities, no asbestosis, and these are likely superimposed infection because we found a CT from 2022, which the patient brought later, and I gave an addendum today, and so that's why I'm putting up this case, and we can see here the plaques, etc., are all there unchanged, but the nodule has increased in size and the subpleural opacities are new. So we're still not sure whether these nodules are significant, whether they mean anything. It's likely that the subpleural opacities, given the one-month history, are some super-added infection, and all of this will perhaps get sorted out. Um, and we've advised a PET CT as well. But this brings us to cognitive biases in diagnostic radiology. And there are, are a few papers, but this one summarizes all the other papers and is an excellent one published about a year ago. 
and it has multiple tables you know depending on where the biases are before we start reading when we are reading after we finish reading and during follow up and if you see here these are biases in image review and two of them inattentional blindness and blind spot biases where we just don't find or we don't recognize the lesions and satisfaction of search is when we found something as perhaps these lung nodules and opacities and then we don't look for uh, the rest of the findings and multiple radiologists across board from multiple institutions because there have been other chest radiographs have missed the pleural plaques and this can only be due to inattentional blindness or blind spot bias and perhaps partly a satisfaction of search bias perhaps related to a lack of understanding of what asbestos plaques look like in practice because I'm assuming that for many radiologists the only time they see this is uh, at the time of exams um, and when they're going through teaching files etc and that perhaps in practice they don't come across patients who have asbestos plaques and so the whole concept of but what I fail to understand is you would still pick up the calcified pleural plaques. And even if you don't know what they are, at least report them. But the, the lesions were themselves missed. So it can only be a form of inattentional blindness. It's like hidden in plain sight. It's all there, but somehow our eyes are unable to then appreciate we do need to up our game, you know, and make sure we pick up all the findings that exist by paying attention to different parts of the lung, scrolling lower, sc scrolling slow and fast. And so it's actually different parts of the chest and so lungs, pleura, mediastinum, hilum, you know, there has to be a way of making sure we don't miss findings. Um, and so that, you know, patients are not inconvenienced and then they are if we miss findings. So I think that, that, that we need to up our game. That's the webinar in four days now and uh, my WhatsApp channel. And thank you so much for viewing this.